Hey cats, welcome to another video. This one is going to be a time lapse of me making a tarot card of Baphomet. I'm using one of my Archer and Olive notebooks to paint in because my current sketchbook's paper can't handle the paint. The a &O notebook's paper is thicker and also smoother so the paint doesn't sink in as much and I don't have to use as many coats. The dots also help a little bit with measuring proportions. And since I'm using acrylic paint, which is opaque, I don't have to worry about those showing through and having to be removed from my skin. The card I'm drawing today is the Magician, which is the first card of the Major Arcana. The Magician represents power and knowledge and progress. The card generally depicts all four elements, which show that the Magician is a master of all of his available tools and, more importantly, of himself. The Magician has been portrayed as an actual wizard, as a stage magician, a con artist, a physician, a tech genius, and of course more fantastical things in theme decks like this one. The common element in all of those is always going to be someone or something that will move the world forward. I chose Baphomet, my goat man for my February art theme, to be my magician in my Cryptids and Creatures tarot deck because as a god slash demon, he has that same balance of the four elements together in his form as half and half of various otherwise supposedly opposite traits. He also was allegedly used by the Templar Knights for arcane knowledge that might seem more modernistic to us for their time period. I drew him holding fire and offering it forward to the viewer as a representation of that arcane knowledge or potential for progress, similar to the fire of Olympus given to man by Prometheus. For color, I'm using Artistro paint pens. These are extra fine tip, which does cause some problems with coloring large sections of color like this. So I do need to get a set with a wider tip size, but otherwise I like these well enough so far.
I used a silver gel pen for the infinity sign over his head and his earrings. The metallic look won't show up on the scan, but in my subscription boxes, art print mystery packs, and in the first three decks sold of these, um, these parts will be metallic on the finished card. Next, I used my Pigma Micron 01 point liner for some simple hatch shading. Then I do some minor editing and create the background of the card.
And that's that, my Baphomet as the magician. As always, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like to let me know. Subscribe for more like this and hit the bell so you don't miss the next one. Until then, be well.